Hello, Sawyer here. Welcome to Real Numbers, the weekly show that explores math by solving real-world problems. Last episode, we had taken our toy boat Wavy down to the river and needed to chart a course across the flowing waters. This week, we continue with another navigational noodle scratcher. So, batten down the hatches, matey! Yar! The setup is the same as last week. The river banks are parallel lines 100 meters apart, and the river flows downstream at a constant rate at all points. When Wavy is in the water, its motor pushes it in whatever direction it's facing at a constant rate, and the flow of the water pulls the boat downstream at a different constant rate. You stand on one dock, and your friend stands on another dock exactly across the river with the toy boat Wavy. Your friend points the toy boat at you and places it in the water, but due to the water flow, you need to walk 60 meters downstream to meet the boat where it reaches your bank. Now, instead of walking back to your dock to send the toy boat back, you want to release it from here, 60 meters downstream, but point it so it exactly meets your friend's dock. At what point on the opposite shore should you aim wavy? Submit your answer, along with any navigational charts or geometrical sketches that you found useful. Now let's solve last week's problem. If you'd like to see that episode, the link is in this video's description. The setup was just the same, but we walked the toy boat back to our dock and released it from there instead of releasing it from the point 60 meters downstream. What point on the opposite bank should we aim for? One tempting answer is the point that is 60 meters upstream from the opposite dock. That way, the motor will be pushing Wavy upstream while the river pulls it downstream, and the hope is that those two forces cancel out and the boat moves directly across the river. Turns out, it's not that easy. The issue is that, since Wavy is no longer motoring directly across the river, it takes longer for the motor to push it across. The extra time the boat spends out in the water means the river carries it farther than 60 meters downstream. So we need to do a bit more analysis. What did we learn from the first trip that Wavy took across the river? Well, in the time it took the motor to push the boat 100 meters, the river pulled it 60 meters downstream. This means we found out the ratio of the boat's speed to the river's speed is 100 over 60, or 5 over 3. Now let's draw a picture depicting the journeys of the boat. On the first trip, the motor contributed 100 meters of movement orthogonal to the flow of the river, and the river contributed 60 meters of movement downstream. These combined to move the boat along the hypotenuse. Now we want to pick a distance upstream along the opposite shore to aim for, call it x meters. If we have chosen x correctly, then we can draw a second right triangle. The motor will contribute movement along the hypotenuse of this new triangle, and the river will contribute movement x meters downstream, the opposite leg of the triangle. These two movements will combine to move wavy along the adjacent leg of the triangle, the orthogonal path across the river that is 100 meters. Using the Pythagorean theorem, the new triangle has a hypotenuse of length the square root of 100 squared plus x squared. Since Wavy's motor is still going to be 5 thirds the speed of the river, we can set the ratios of the distance generated by the motor to the distance generated by the river. So the length of the hypotenuse over the length of the opposite side is 5 thirds. Setting these equal and solving for x by clearing denominators and squaring gives 75 equals x. So we should aim 75 meters upstream of the opposite dock. As expected, this number is a bit larger than the 60 meter first guess we had. We can also calculate this answer using trigonometric functions. Let's look back at the second right triangle we drew. We know the ratio of the length of the opposite leg to the length of the hypotenuse is equal to 3 fifths. Another way of saying this is that the angle away from straight across the river we are aiming the toy boat has sine equal to 3 fifths. Let's call this angle theta. Now we know the adjacent leg's length is 100 meters, and we want to solve for the opposite leg's length. The relevant trig function is tangent. Tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent, or x over 100. If sine theta is 3 fifths, then cosine theta, which is the square root of 1 minus sine squared, is 4 fifths. That means tangent of theta is sine theta over cosine theta. So that's 3 fifths over 4 fifths, or 3 fourths. 
Setting this equal to x over 100, we get x equals 75. Agreement. Okay, now let's put our piloting skills to use charting a course for this episode's problem of the week. This time you are sending Wavy back from a point 60 meters downstream from your dock. At what point on the opposite bank should you aim Wavy so that it meets your friend? Submit your answer along with any supplemental maps and diagrams. We'll solve this and have a brand new challenge on next week's episode.